good morning students now today i want to discuss the experiment based on ohm's law we shall discuss how to find the uh, resistance of a given wire by using ohm's law so for this everything is there on the board you see first of all this is the circuit diagram you see the circuit diagram this is the resistance wire which has been connected in parallel to the voltmeter and this resistance ammeter this is the uh, this is the uh, eliminator battery eliminator and this is the rheostat look very simple circuit all are in series okay only the voltmeter is in parallel to the resistance wire so this is the circuit diagram the circuit diagram is this according to which the all the elements will be connected now after connecting the circuit what we shall observe we shall observe the least count of the ammeter you know least count means the minimum division which we have to minimum reading which can be noted so that is 0.05 ampere in the ammeter and in the voltmeter it is 0.05 volt and the pointer of these devices are always in zero on the zero mark when no current is flowing this is why zero error here is nil as it is written and after that after that here this is the observation table look this is the observation table here observation table is very simple serial number we have to take five readings voltmeter reading definitely volt ammeter reading definitely ampere and here resistance v by i but we will find it out with the help of the graph now i will we shall discuss how to take the reading but one thing i just tell you suppose voltmeter readings ammeter reading voltmeter reading and ammeter reading five corresponding readings we shall tabulate here and after that we shall plot a graph of this type this is the graph i versus b i versus b this graph will be drawn with the five points and you all know that at least this graph must pass through these four or uh, three to four points at least three points it must pass and as well as it should pass through the origin as shown in the figure in the figure i have shown that it is passing through the four points and one point has been eliminated it is not passing through that so it is the graph and by finding out the inverse of the slope means you take in this way you consider two points a and b suppose from a and from b the we drop the two perpendiculars then here the resistance this will be from the bc by ac pc by ac from the graph will give you the resistance in this way the whole thing will be found out and see i just tell you i think all of you must be knowing to write down the experiment these are the important steps aim of the experiment apparatus required theory procedure this is the observations observations will in tabular form this is the observation in tabular form calculations and result and ultimately the precautions this is the way this is the these are the heads under which you will write down the practical copy practical notebook and i am going to demonstrate that experiment but before demonstrating one thing more i just tell you you must be knowing that is evaluation scheme for this year is like this this is the evaluation scheme for your board examination two experiments you have to perform one from the electricity another from the optics from each section one is section a another is section b practical record experiment and activity activity only you have to write not to perform in on this the practical record seven marks and viva on experiment and activity is also seven marks this is regarding the evaluation scheme so whatever is the written work <coughs> how to do the right written work that i have told you now i am going to demonstrate this experiment okay how to perform this experiment in the lab 
Okay, students. Now see, all the elements are here. Look, battery eliminator here. You can compare it. Compare this circuit with the circuit diagram. This is the eliminator. Red terminal that is positive. Although it is marked also positive. Black one is negative. It is also marked a negative. And it is connected to in this way. It has been connected to ammeter. Then all the elements are there in the voltmeter. At, across the terminals of the voltmeter there is the resistance wire look the resistance wire is clearly seen here see the battery eliminator battery eliminator is in the off position okay so see here also it is zero mark pointer and ammeter and voltmeter in both the apparatus the um, um, the pointer is at the zero mark okay now we start it what we do we first Put the eliminator on. Just you watch. The needle has moved. Right. A bit. And now you can take the reading. At whatever. As I told you. Least count is 0 0.05. Now we shall see. At what point this pointer is here. First one division. One division. Here also one division. It means. It means in the voltmeter reading. Also you will write 1 into 0 0.05. In ammeter also you will write 1 into 0 0.05 for this reading which is shown in the ammeter and voltmeter both. You can write down 1 into 0 0.05. I think you can understand because one division is 0 0.05 ampere and 0 0.05 volt. So that reading it is given. Very clearly has shown. Now what you will do. This rheostat with the help of this rheostat. With the help of this rheostat, we can change the circuit, uh, change the, sorry, resistance of the circuit. What I will do, I will move it. This is the slider. This slider, I will slide it as I will slide it. Look, look, both the readings are changing. See, both the readings are changing. Just you observe it. You observe it. I am, I am changing it slowly. It is both the readings are changing. So, very simple. What you will do students, at the five different points of this slider, you find five different readings of ammeter and voltmeter, corresponding readings of ammeter and voltmeter and tabulate them. This is the experiment only. Very simple experiment. As far as the experimental part is concerned, it will hardly take two minutes after setting the circuit. Main thing is the connection of the circuit. So, do the connections properly and I think you have understood for the different positions of this slider, the different readings, corresponding readings we shall get in the ammeter and voltmeter and we shall tabulate them and accordingly we can find out the resistance. This is the whole thing about the Ohm's law. Thank you students.